Hi everyone, Fox 61 Chief Meteorologist Rachel Frank here on the Weather Watch for Friday night into Saturday morning for a period of accumulating snow. That snow we might even see a little bit of a burst later Friday night and it'll wrap up as we head into Saturday morning. Some lingering light snow and flurries before we end up drying things out. And I do think that we're dry for the Hartford St. Patrick's Day Parade, although we'll be marching around through a little bit of snow as we get out there. So I think the western half of the state has the best chance of picking up two to four inches of snow, at least away from the Connecticut shoreline. In the Hartford area, though, I'm thinking a coating to an inch or two is possible, and there will be a very sharp gradient separating areas that are able to get three inches and some areas that might just get a dusting on top of grassy surfaces in eastern Connecticut. So this storm is more focused in western areas. For tonight, though, we're quiet with overnight low temperatures in the 20s. There is, for western Connecticut, also a winter weather advisory in effect just to warn people that roads could be slippery. Slippery. Heading through your Friday, we'll start the day off with a bit of sunshine, then we'll see increasing clouds light wind for a change, so we like seeing that. And then after 6, 7 o'clock is when we'll start to see that chance for snow continue to increase. Initially, it might mix just because temperatures will be so far above freezing, especially at the Connecticut shoreline where it might just be rain initially here as we head through the early evening. And then we should cool down enough for even the shoreline to see some snow. It snows for a while through the overnight hours and then heading into Saturday morning, some lingering light snow possible early on. This is 8, 9 a.m. After that, maybe a few lingering flurries, but we should definitely be dry as we head through the afternoon. And taking a look at the second half of the weekend, things are looking mild with highs up around 50 degrees. We are also keeping a very close eye on Monday, Tuesday of next week. Very strong consensus that a powerful nor'easter will develop, and it could bring us heavy snow, heavy rain, gusty winds, and even coastal flooding are all potentially on deck, especially Monday night into Tuesday. That's the time frame that's of most concern. So keep checking in for updates on that as that could be a higher impact situation for us. And temperatures are in the mid 40s as we head towards this time next week.